Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to have you here. Today we're going to talk about interactive analysis. Interactive analysis is a way to achieve dashboard-like experience rapidly from a list view. It's super handy because it's only two clicks away from everyone and adopts whatever conditions you've already applied to the list. So here I am on a list of change requests, and I just want to draw attention to the fact that the list is already filtered down to the active ones. I right click on any header and say launch interactive analysis. I'm then taken to the interactive analysis page. The interactive analysis page is comprised of a stackable horizontal bar chart, a heat map, and a grouped list. You can change the grouping, stacking, and aggregation via the menus at the top. The values to group by are pulled from the columns that you had on the list before getting to the interactive analysis page. And yes, if you've personalized your list view, those columns will come too. Now, if you go to the info icon, you'll notice that you've inherited the base query of the list that you pulled from. In this case, I can see I have all changes that were active. You can update this filter by clicking edit source filter. That will bring up the traditional condition builder. You're also given the URL that you can copy and paste to somebody to share this interactive analysis. If I click the funnel icon, I can add filters to my interactive analysis. Let's see what happens when I just look at normal changes. The interactive analysis is now filtered. Go back to the info and I can see that there's an applied filter in the applied filter section. But why should we use the interactive analysis? Interactive analysis is useful when you want rapid insights on a task table without knowing specifically what you want. I call these kind of reports insight mines because they aren't built with a set of actions or consequences in mind. Personally, I love using interactive analysis when I'm looking at a new instance and I want a really high level overview of how the data is organized. Because it's accessible in two clicks, it's also a great way to empower group administrators and service owners who already have lists available for the tasks that they manage. Do you want your message in front of the best ServiceNow admins, developers, architects, and product owners in the business? Want a conversation about your ServiceNow strategy and architecture? You can reach me via my website at www.theduke.digital. If you want to contribute to high frequency, high quality ServiceNow content, all you need to do is feed the algorithm with likes, shares, and comments. Thanks for watching.